What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So do you guys think that Big Romy was judged fairly at this year's Arnold Classic? Well, it is all about what the judges are looking for right now. And right now, they want more shredded kind of physique with better balance of everything, shape, flow, and aesthetics. The perfect example is Hadi Chopin. So Chad Nichols has released some pictures taken on Wednesday of Big Ramy. And I see the frustration of the fans in the comment section. Because the thing is, it doesn't matter what you look like three days out of the show. What matters is how you look on stage for those 45 minutes. Big Ramy made some great improvements from the Olympia to the Arnold. The atrophy in his triceps was much improved here. He was even able to open up his back a lot more. But the real question is, will the judges consider him to be Mr. Olympia again, even if he is just as good as 2020? That is the real question, guys. Because in my opinion, the judges have moved on from his physique. Let me put that in perspective. Rami shows up a lot improved than the Olympia last year. And instead of moving up, he drops down in placings. He got beat by two guys, Samson and Andrew Jack, who placed behind him at the Olympia last year. Rami is the widest guy on stage. He has the biggest set of wheels. Yes, a little more separation will definitely help. But the point is, he clearly made some good changes. That too in a few short weeks after the Olympia. So I think we should be excited on how he shows up at the Olympia this year. Which, by the way, if he doesn't win, might very well be his last. He is close to 40 years old now. And one can stay close to 300 pounds for so many years. We have been so busy with the Arnold Classic coverage that some of the updates got missed. That is close to 900 pounds of beef in one frame. Two of these guys, Hunter Labrada and Brad Wilkin, are planning to compete at the upcoming Mr. Olympia. James Hollingshead, on the other hand, is taking the year off to make some necessary improvements. Samson winning the Arnold Classic has changed the bodybuilding, especially in UK. And James being his fellow countryman, he is super motivated to work hard this year and make that breakthrough next year. Brad Wilkins' upper body is very impressive, but his legs from the front are very much behind. But still, he has plenty of time left in his offseason because he isn't planning to compete in any show other than the Olympia this year. The top 10 at the Olympia is such a tough task to crack. And Brett has to make some incredible improvements if he wants to accomplish that task. And that too in his first try. Personally, I think it will be extremely hard. He has the ability to get insanely shredded. There is no doubt about that. But he is a short bodybuilder who will have to rely on freakiness to get ahead of some of the top guys. Hunter Labrada, as you guys already know, is roughly six months out of his next show. So considering he is weighing 280 pounds, about two and a half months post-Olympia, his condition looks very good. But again, we saw the same kind of pattern during his Olympia prep. He just didn't change from week to week leading into the Olympia. So they had to drop the hammer in the final few weeks. And that was one of the reasons he missed his mark. But still, I am excited to see how he looks at Tampa Pro this year. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.